Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on the Future Hall of Famer and two big dogs in this fight game. We have Rolando Romero, known as Roly Romero. Roly is now the new Super WBA 140 pound world champ. Then we have King Ryan Garcia. Ryan is one of the top contenders now at 140 pounds. You know, he's one of the hottest young stars in the game after taking his first loss to Tank. And then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA Unified World Champion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we all know that uh, Ryan Garcia joined the Derrick James camp over with Earl the True Spence Jr. So we know that Ryan Garcia is shaking out with Earl, Frank Martin, um, Anthony Joshua, Jamel Trollo, you know, and the other cats they got in the stable. You feel me? Which is a hell of a stable. But we know that Earl is teaching Ryan new things, man. You understand? We know that Ryan is paying attention. He's watching and he's learning on the fly. And we know that he's picking Earl Spence's brain because we know Earl is the biggest thing in the gym, along with Anthony Joshua. But Earl Spence is that guy. You understand? And we know that, you know, Ryan is learning new things from EJ. Now, we know Ryan is trying to get the fight with Roly Romero at the same time while learning new tricks from Earl to try to use it on Roly in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the fight, not in the gym, in the fight, excuse me. You know, but he's learning new things in the gym with Earl Spence and Derrick James. Now, of course, we know that Derrick James is the trainer. Let's not get it misunderstood. Derrick James is training um, King Ryan Garcia, and it's going to work out to be a hell of a, you know, a hell of a partnership. But at the same time, Ryan is watching, he's watching, he's watching, and, you know, you're going to ask Earl, you know, pointers and tips. When you see him spar, you see him train, you know who he is. He about to take on turns Bud Crawford, you know what I'm saying, and, and arguably the biggest what's away fight, like Earl said, in the last fucking decade or so, right? And now Ryan Garcia gets to see all those things, learn from it, pick up on it, and try to implement it into his game plan, which would be the smartest thing to do. You feel me? Um, I think Ryan learned this lesson. He understand, like, when I go to these gyms, I have to pick up and I got to learn like Canelo told me before. Don't just miss the gym. Get in the gym because you're always learning something. Doesn't matter if people just talking. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, Roley just came to new WBA super champ at 140 pounds. So he is, you know, a world champion. He's in the history books. Um, Roley is not the most technical fighter. He's not the fastest fighter. He's not the smartest fighter. I mean, he got some power, you know, so Roley is very beatable if you the right fighter with the right skills. But, you know, Roley would have stepped the Ryan Garcia fight. He understand that that's a big fight for him. Make good money off that fight. If you win, you know, it up your notoriety. And, you know, Roley and Ryan got history. You know, they got history in the sport and sparring in the Mayweather gym. Where a lot of people feel like Roley got the best of Ryan. They feel like Roley hurt him Ryan and things like that. You know, when you're sporting, you got on head, girl, 16 ounces, and then you're fighting more. You're not really thinking in the ring. You're, you're actually fighting. You feel me? So Roley believed in his skill set. He believed in himself, and he believed he'll fuck Ryan Garcia up. You know what I'm saying? He want the Ryan Garcia fight. You know what I mean? And, you know, he welcome it. We know him and Tia Fimo homeboys and shit like that. So, you know, he'll welcome a Ryan Garcia fight because he feel like he better than Ryan. He feel like he's stronger than Ryan. You know what I mean? Especially after seeing Ryan just getting um, stopped, to, stopped by Tank with a body shot. We know Roly got knocked out by Tank. As well. So, you know, it'll be the battle of the two cats that got, you know, stopped by Tank. And, you know, somebody going to redeem themselves. You feel me? So, if, if Ryan is doing the, the right thing over in the count with Derrick James, showing up when he's supposed to show up, um, paying attention, um, taking notes, not literally mean writing on pads, but, you know, processing and and you know download things into your data um i got ryan knocking roly out you feel me like i would have picked him to knock him out even without being with Derek now but now that he's with Derek now i got ryan really knocking him out you know what i mean Derek james gonna put some shit in, in, in ryan garcia that roly can't match that roly can't match and like i say been over there with earl spence anthony joshua Jamel Trello, Frank Martin, even though we know you and Frank might bump heads down the line, right? Frank at 135 right now, Ryan, Ryan at 140, so, you know, the coast clear. But, you know, been over there training with them guys, you know, picking up on this, picking up on that, getting your footwork, to, getting your footwork together to get better, get your head movement, the right range and distance. Man, Ryan going to be something special. Ryan going to be something special. You got the skill set. 
He got the things that you can't teach and certain things that you got to be blessed with, like the speed and power. You just got to learn how to use that shit and put it together the right way. And Derrick James is the man to help you put it together the right way. You know what I mean? So with him over there with Earl Spence, learning certain things from EJ, especially the body work. Oh, my God. If you can pick up on Earl Spence's body work, not saying you got to go in there and be active to the body like Earl Spence, but always remember to go to the body. Don't never stop going to the body in each and every round. You know, always put something in the bank. Go downstairs and try to, you know, even if you three or four punches to the body around, that's still good work to the body. Still good work to the body. And learning a jab and the, and the right range of distance like Earl Spence. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fundamentals is everything in boxing. Fundamentals is everything in boxing. If you stick to the fundamentals in boxing, you're going to always give yourself a chance to be in the fight. Win, lose, or draw. If you stick to the fundamentals of boxing, you're going to always give yourself a chance of being in that fight. And that's just being in the right, keeping your foot right where it's supposed to be, right? Um, always keeping your hand up. Never stop using your jab. You feel me? And understanding, understanding that your opponent is just another man like you. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid of him, bro. Don't be afraid. Just be smart. You feel me? Be smart. And you'll put yourself in position, you know, to win that scrap. Straight like that, man. You know? And I'm liking uh, Ryan Garcia calling out Roley. I'm liking it a lot, bro. One hell of a fight to go right up to 140 and get you a championship fight. Get right back in the midst of things. You know? And, and prove that, look, I took a loss to Tank. I ain't got no reason to hold my head down. I ain't got no reason to hold my head down. That's one loss. I lost my donut. That loss don't define me. I went into that bitch I fought. Him and Roley fought. They both fought Tank ass. You no? Know? Same results. They both got knocked out. But they both fought Tank. Meaning they was in there fighting. You understand? So they show heart. Now you put them in the ring with one another. It's a hell of a fight. You know, that's a hell of a fight. Ryan Garcia versus Rolly Romero. Going to be very, very entertaining, bro. They going to talk a lot of shit. You know, Rolly going to be talking a lot of shit. Ryan can, all, can most definitely talk shit back. You know? Go talk about both of them losing the Tank. You know, Roly going to make it as if he did better. You know what I'm saying? going to feel like he was winning the fight. You know how he talking shit. I was winning my fucking fight. You was losing. You fucking went down with a body shot. You fucking quit like a little bitch. I got fucking knocked out. I went out on my fucking shield. You didn't go out on your shield. You went out on your heels, you little pussy. You had your heels on and you ran. You didn't fucking want anymore. I would have got the fuck up if it was a body shot. But it's okay because I'm going to get tank again after I knock you the fuck out. My belt isn't going anywhere. You know, Roly get to talking. You know, with his retorted strength. You feel me? But Ryan will respond to his ass. You know what I mean? But it makes for one hell of a fight. Very entertaining. Like I said, somebody getting knocked out. Somebody going to sleep. Between Roly and Ryan, somebody going to sleep. And I got Ryan putting Roly to sleep. But Ryan got to be careful because Roly ass can punch. And when it's somebody like Ryan going to see it, he, he'll get in there and get rough and rugged. Rough and rugged. Because he's going to try to do the same shit that he was doing in Sporn. Because he's going to feel like, look, man, we got Ryan ain't tough like that. He ain't built like that. That's what he's going to be thinking. But Ryan over there with Derrick James and Earl Spence going to show his ass something different. You feel me? Go show him something different. Like, boy, I learned some new shit from my new trainer. You know what I mean? And my stable mates. <laughs> and you better show that you can take it. Because if not, it's going to be an early night. It's going to be an early night. So we're going to see how this thing play out, man, with Ryan Garcia and Rolly Romero. Ryan accept it. Let's see if Rolly them accept it like Floyd them, if they'll let it happen, which I believe they will. Um, Golden Boy doing business with Mayweather Promotions. If Floyd Oscar can put their differences to the side for the greater good of boxing and for these fighters' fucking career, then it should get done. It should get done. It should be a damn good fight, man. A damn good fight. I'm pulling for Ryan because I'm a Ryan fan. You know, I like Rolly with his shit-talking ass, but, you know, like Shakur said, Rolly talk his way into these big-time fights. You know what I mean? But it's his skill set is ass trash. Just got to keep it real. But his ass can punch and he go out there to fight. Ain't got to respect that. He wasn't to get knocked the fuck out to, you know, do what he got to do. And a lot of people feel like he lost their last, well, losing their last fight. And then he got a gift. So if he go out there and beat Ryan, he can make up for it. Although I think Ryan going to knock his ass out. So let's see, y'all, um, if this fight get made, what Ryan learned from Earl Spence and Derrick James, if it carry over to the ring. 
and make him a better fighter. Good luck to both of y'all dudes. Straight like that, man.